exciting day. Our truck is actually going to get a makeover today. So we have a 2019 Dodge Ram Warlock. Uh, we just got it this year. Our old truck was a Dodge Ram and it just kept having a lot of problems. It was paid off. It was a 2006, I believe, just short of 200,000 miles on it. And we decided that it wasn't worth putting all the money in to keep maintaining it. So we decided to get a new truck and we love it. So what we're doing today is we're actually gonna get a camper topper to put on the back of the truck. And um, they said it arrived. So we're bringing the truck in to drop it off. They'll strip out this shell on the inside and put in carpeting. Um, but yeah, we're just dropping it off and I'll let you guys know what it looks like when it's done. All right, we're back. So it's actually been a year since we've gotten our camper shell. And the old footage that I filmed was a little muddled and it was filmed parts in slow-mo and I can't fix it. So I'm gonna do this over, but that's great because it's been a year since we've had this topper and we can show and share a lot more features and things that we like to use it for. So first and foremost, what I wanna let you know is we went with the Lear camper shell. There were three companies for us to choose from, ARE, Lear, and Snugtop. One of the main reasons we went with the Lear for this particular uh, truck is because we really liked this um, window panel where there were no brakes in it. We just thought it looked very clean and sleek with the rest of the truck look. And before we get inside, I do want to mention we did have them add the Yakima rack system on top. Um, that we love going kayaking. So I will insert a picture of our Yakima system with the kayaks on top. And one of the great features about this system is you can actually lock this so it's not taken off your vehicle. And you can also remove it. Uh, we took a trip to San Diego and we were staying at an Airbnb. And the parking garage was a little too small for us to fit our truck inside so we actually had to take the Yakima system off but it was such an easy fix we just had our key popped them right off put them in the back of the truck and we were good to go so let's dive into the back of the truck and I will show you some features inside truck locks right here through the back also connected up through our key system so now whenever we lock our truck the back hatch will lock as well so that's very nice but to get in you just twist this and pull up and then pop this down so the first thing I want to mention is getting this camper topper we had them install the carpeting so in our truck and in many of your trucks as you will know there will be ridges that are just very hard to crawl on and, and step on and sleep on. So the main reason why we wanted the carpet is just for a little bit more ease getting in and out. And then you don't feel those ridges when you're walking around on them. So this carpet is really nice for insulating the inside. Let me pop on a light here. We have carpeting on the top as well. We had them install this strip lighting And then the truck camper shell also does come with this light. But for an additional light, we had them do the strip lighting as well. So there are a couple of different reasons why people might want to get a camper shell. Um, for the main reason that we did was for specifically why it's called that, we wanted to camp inside. So I'm very tall, I'm 5'9", my husband, he's 6'2". Both of us fit inside this truck very comfortably. Um, Part of the reason why we wanted to get the carpeting, like I said before, was for good insulation so that if we were camping in a cold environment, it would warm inside pretty nicely. The windows were a nice feature. We do live in Arizona, so it's very hot. So these pop open and these screens are up here. These are very nice to keep any bugs out, but you get a really nice breeze. Pop this other one open. Okay. 
And then we added some other features in this camper shell that we thought that we would enjoy while we were camping. The first one I do want to mention is this three port. It's like a cigarette lighter port that you can plug in any items that you want to have charging in the back of your camper shell here. We have this system here that folds up, but it's nice to have down if we want to hang anything for storage or while, while we're in here sleeping. You just pop that back up. We have these hooks around the side, and then, then there's also these additional rings. These rings are to hold a net that gets stretched across the top that you can actually put things in for storage. We took the net down because it was sagging a little bit and we found that we actually didn't need the extra storage yet, but it's nice to have in the case that we might. These hooks, what we use, and these rings, um, for the time being, we actually got some twinkle lights <laughs> to wrap around. So while we're in here camping, there's a little more light than just these two lights provided. So we used to do tent camping and I would definitely say this is way more fun. <laughs> First of all, it doesn't have as much setup and take down as tent camping does. And for the inside of the truck here, um, we actually got off of Amazon a tri-fold queen size memory foam mattress that we put back here. And it does come up over the wheel wells just slightly, but it fits in here perfectly that we can actually shut the back and get a really good night's sleep in it. Um, what I've seen people do, if you don't like the way it bows up against the wheel wells, is you can take a bread knife and kind of cut away the mattress um so that it fits snugly in here if you want more more space but my husband and i fit wonderfully back here with just the uh, queen size mattress it's been awesome and then once we're done camping since it's a tri-fold mattress uh, we tri-fold it up and put it up against the back here and it stores really nice in the back while we take all of our other items and stash them inside for the trip home so if you want to get into truck camping, this particular topper was made to order for our newer truck, but that's not something that you have to do. You don't need to pay a premium price for all the bells and whistles. Our first uh, camper shell that we actually got uh, was used off Craigslist, and that's how we started camping in the back of our truck for our old truck, and we loved it. So there's different ways to get started. This is just the setup that we have now. If you guys are interested in seeing some of our camping must-haves um, that we use for camping in general and for setting up and making the back of this truck just really nice to sleep in, I'll shoot another video soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.